Hello everyone, welcome to Pandey Guruji YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss uh, one very important interview question uh, which asked uh, one of my student in uh, uh, Deloitte company. So basically they attend the one to one interview and while attending the interview after the written test, uh, they put it this real time of question uh, to find the uh, who is the winner of the voting uh, data set. So they provided uh, one data set. Uh, they, in the data set, we have the uh, candidate name and the uh, uh, who voted the candidate. Uh, so I created the same like the uh, some uh, dummy data set. So I don't have the that exactly, but uh, uh, the uh, one of my student who attend the interview on Deloitte. So uh, he shared the all the question and uh, one of the this is very important uh, question. He not able to answer the. Uh, within the time so they provided the uh, question is the candidate name and the voter name so candidate name they uh, who who voted for the voter so and the who is the winner so i will explain how you can solve this type of the question and uh, also i will let you know i will provide you some type of the uh, uh, tricks idea that uh, if you receive this type of the question like uh, uh, this type of the question like filtering the data out of the uh, data set so you can a a easily achieve the uh, answer of this type of the uh, question so before starting if you are new in my youtube channel please uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, share uh, anyone needed this type of the question if you really uh, preparing for the sql interview for the any type of the profile if you want to join a one to one session also you can find the complete uh, uh, detail on the video description so i created the dummy data set okay so uh, this is the table i created election table is there and the candidate name and the voter name so uh, this is the candidate row uh, suppose uh, voted by david uh, so kevin we have the candidate wamsi have the candidate and this is all the voter who voted so i have this uh, final table okay so you can also create this type of the uh, dummy data and do to achieve the requirement so uh, the first requirement is to how you can find the uh, total uh, voting uh, uh, voted by for the candidate okay so so let me put this uh, uh, let me remove the uh, uh, star so to find the candidate uh, total voting you need to use the count function okay so count function you need to be use the voter name okay so if you put the voter name you will get the uh, complete voting uh, for the entire table level okay so we have the total 14 voted but uh, we for each individual wise if you require so first you need to be group use the group by clause okay so just you can use the group by clause so in the group by clause you can you need to use the candidate name okay so if you use the candidate name group by clause then also you can use the uh, candidate in the select statement so once you find the candidate name uh, total voting so now you can see uh, you will get all the voted voting uh, uh, for the each candidate so here you can see the no name is coming so you can give the some alias name uh, like uh, put the column like uh, total uh, vote total voter so total voting i put the total voting so once you put the total voting you will get the complete how many voted so now uh, because this is the uh, small data set you can easily find out uh, find out this rob have the highest number but uh, you cannot answer like this because you are a technical person so you need to be so through the query so now uh, you need to be order the data okay so uh, you can uh, use the order by clause to to the uh, total voting so if you uh, if you use the two only it will automatically ascend in ascending order but we required in the descending order because we required highest voting in the top okay so once you once you once you click this one uh, you can see the total voting is coming in top okay so total voting is coming in the top so now you can see a uh, highest voter is rob so now you can use the top one clause okay so if you use the top one clause here you will get the 
which the winner name okay so this is the one way query okay so there is also the alternate way you can also declare one variable so this is the first way the second way uh, you can declare the variable and take the highest number and or also you can use the some time table concept also but uh, this is the one line coded you can explain in front of the interview so uh, you will get the answer so rob is the winner to solve this type of the question uh, first you need to go with the step by step uh, just try to think how you can achieve the requirement like suppose if you working in the x suppose if you have the data in the excel or any other data set how you can achieve so based on that you need to be put the logic because uh, without logic uh, you cannot achieve the any requirement so first you can think that how you can get the total voting in out of total voting how you can get find the maximum number like this so if you follow this type of the step then uh, you can also uh, you can achieve this type of the question and if you going to attend any type of the interview if you not able to solve the question uh, you can put the question on the uh, comment box definitely i will provide the answer of all the question and uh, if you want to learn the complete sql uh, with me to one to one training you can connect with me uh, by the link which is given on the video description so thank you so much for the watching this complete video i uh, will meet again on next video thank you